Newcastle Fans TV. Good morning. How are you? Another way day. Here we go. Another weekend. Another weekend of me doing something with the other half as well. That's why she's holding this phone. There's quite a few of us down Wolves today. We've got Michelle, Sam, Johnny, Carl. I think Adam's down here as well. So there's a big chunk of NFTV who are down Wolverhampton. And look, everyone's kind of joke on, oh, it's going to be 1 1 again because, you know, the last few fixtures, and even when they scored the winner, if you remember, through Doherty in the last minute to win a 2 1, that was almost 1 1 a couple of years back as well. But um, would I take a point? No, I think a win has to come very, very quick for Steve Bruce. Of course, we know in the. How are you? Get past this blimmin' car. So we know in the press conference, we know that Callum Wilson is missing, Jamal Lascelles is missing, Paul Dummett is missing. So it, I, th I think I wouldn't be too surprised if it's exactly the same team that played against Watford. Look, Watford was a better performance and it's good to say that, but we need, we need to win games now because we've got an international break after Wolves. If it didn't win, you know, will the board get twitchy arses? Will Charney, you know, pull the trigger and send Bruce on his way because it doesn't look good when you come back from the international break in mid-October and you still haven't won a game league or cup so will that happen probably not is the take over the cat case in the back of um, the board's mind probably I would probably think so I think it's a great time to sack Bruce mind if, if we did get beat but I, I can't say it happened I, look I think the question will be raised in the boardroom but I think they'll just see what happens at, um, with the arbitration on the 3rd of January commencing that week and then if we do have new owners it's up to the new owners to decide if they keep Bruce or not I think that's probably what I would reckon Charlie and Ashley Camp is thinking I know I've gone off a tin on a tangent here I've gone left field here but Wolves obviously struggling they're not the same side I think they're a weaker side now that Nuno Santo has left them look they've still got some class players Matinho and you're talking about Ruben Neves Jimenez hasn't hit the goals yet like he was, obviously he had a massive scare with his head injury, but Adama Trior in that right-hand side, you know, blistering pace. So, we, we, they do have threats, but I think this team can get get at. I think we can win this game, as long as we play like we did at Watford. And we, we, as I say, with Watford, we missed loads of chances. The one-on-ones, Alan's at maximum, should have chipped the goalkeeper, and Jacob Murphy right at the end as well. So. You ask the question, I if you had Callum Wilson on your side, you, that would have been probably one of those would have been a goal, even Dwight Gill to some extent. And he actually made his first appearance off the bench, got a whopping eight minutes. Eight minutes! But it was good to see Dwight Gill because he's the only natural striker that we've got currently and he's not been fucking used. But having said that, credit to Joe Litton on that left side. He has had a couple of good games. Great, but how are the goals coming? You kind of just rely on a winger who's banging in the goals and being our threat and Alan State maximum all the time and he's he's playing out of position and Miggy had a great game and he's playing out of position and there's I mean we've talked about this on the channel loads that loads of people are, are playing out of position but I hope it, it is for the back once again and I think like I say I, I generally feel like we can get something from Wolves and even beat them and get our first win of the season I think it's it's not going to be good on Bruce, Bruce if we didn't get that win I kind of I think I think the Watford game was very entertaining to watch and there was a lot more Bruce out, Bruce out, Bruce out, a lot more and that'll go up again. It was even when we scored, we were still singing Bruce out. So the Wolves, it needs a win and if they carry on the performance at Watford, I think that will happen. I don't think Wolves are, are, a, are a threat to what the, when the first were, were in the first couple of years when they came up in the Premier League. So look, there's loads of videos down there, there's the match vlog. You've got the match reaction. Of course, you've got the online team as well. There's tons of us that are down in Wolverhampton. Like I say, I'm staying overnight with the other half. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for all the birthday wishes as well. And uh, we'll see. Score prediction just before we go. I'm going to say we're going to win this. I'm being optimistic for a change instead of being negative. Because nobody likes negativity, do they? So I'm going to say that the two are going to win and keep the clean sheet and win 1-0. You know, we've got one of the new sponsors, Boyle Sports. Have a look what they're having to bet. If you bet a tenner, you get 20 quid free in bets. Link's in the description if you're want to. If you a gambling man. Because I think I'm going to gamble today and say 1-0. So let me know what you think in the comments down there below. See you later.